things like that. Time to get back right into it with some After Effects. I'm going to show you a little sequence here I put together. Uh, let's click on this. Uh, right here is uh, myself, I got a photo, and uh, in here we're taking a 2D composition, a 2D photo, and making it a 3D kind of a scene here. So as you can see, I zoomed in there with a the camera movement. And I'm going to kind of show you how we did this. Um, I got some fire in the background and, and kind of a cool battle scene, I guess you would say. So it kind of gives you an idea. So basically what you do is you take a flat photo and you add a camera, add another photo, green screen. Uh, this was on, done on a green screen myself. And I just, uh, you know, keyed out the green screen. Put myself in there <clears throat> in the setting. Uh, added some uh, bullets, muzzle flashes, and uh, some uh, bullets coming out of the gun. And it kind of gives you the illusion that uh, it is a scene, a 3D scene. So let's go ahead and play that one more time. If it, So you kind of get the idea of that. And then we got some fire in the background and stuff like that. So go back to here. I'm going to shut off some things in the um, comp area here. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to Jason James Films, go ahead and subscribe now. Uh, let's just get, out, get that out of the way because I know you want to subscribe. I know you see some interesting stuff going on here. Um, so we'll just um, take care of that and get it out of the way. And thank you, by the way, for taking the time and watching this video. I know you're very busy, so let's get right into it. So I've got some adjustment layers here. I'm going to shut those off and show you what we did. Uh, the gunfire I'll leave on. What else? I got a texture layer over top. We can take that off. And then there's another adjustment layer. That's to color myself. And you can see as I click on that, these attributes will show up here on the controls panel. And then here I just basically, you know, curve, vignette. Uh, and then color range. I like to desaturate a little bit and then darken the blacks. So it kind of gives you that cinematic look to it. But uh, this was kind of a neat little project. So it was kind of cool to do. And let me show you the um, background. The background layer is pretty interesting. Because we had to do some masking around the windows and uh, where the fire is coming through. Things like that. So maybe they'll give you a better idea of how I did it. There's one, that's a duplicate layer. I don't want that one. So let's go and find the layer I want. Here it is. So, kind of getting lost in the mix here, but you get the idea. Okay, so here is, let it render in here. Come on. So this was taken out of an old factory, and I actually, um, I used to work here, believe it or not, back in um, 2005. This was called Lear Corporation, and um, this is the older part of the building. It's a historical part of the building, and I got to tell you, they made, uh, in World War II, they made fuselages for airplanes here, uh, right in this back area here. So this big, long part over here was the fuselage, and this right here was the uh, guard check. You come in and you check in for work going through the gates and then your day starts so yeah this is kind of a historical building here uh, and then Lear the automotive company took over uh, part of GM General Motors and uh, yeah I used to work here and put together car seats believe it or not the electronic components of your car seat is what I used to do um, the motors and everything that anyway you get the idea so this here, I just kind of um, masked out some window stuff. Um, and then um, we can show you that. Anyway, you see this little hand part? If I want to toggle out of that back to my arrow key, just push the V button. That'll kind of get you back to where you need to be. So that's kind of a little tip. And here you're going to find, I'll twirl down, you're going to find a lot of masks. So you can mask out multiple layers in this composition or photo or background, whatever you want to put in the background of that. And then um, put some effects in there. So what we did was we put fire inside of this building. So this is all keyed out. So all you're going to get is black. So if we go back up here, we've got our fire 
and I go back in my composition so you can see that. So as this is rendering in, every time, unfortunately, every time you go in and out of your comp to fix something, it takes a while for it to uh, kick in, I guess. Come on, fast forward. I'll turn it to half resolute. A third resolution that should solve things a little bit. All right, it's not as crystal clear as this, but I also added a camera. So you can see right here um, from what I have, uh, the smoke coming out of the windows. It's just kind of an after effect there. Uh, all these uh, stuff right here is this is all Andrew Kramer's um, Accent Essentials 2 uh, packets that I've got this from. So, uh, And he's also got a really cool program out now. It's called 3D Elements. If you haven't heard of it, check it out on um, YouTube or go to his website, videocopilot.net. Um, really cool. A huge fan of Andrew Kramer. Just a, a great all-around teacher for um, After Effects and what you need to learn as far as like basics and getting started with stuff. Um, so what I wanted to do is show you some texture stuff. So I'm adding in the layers. So I colored this down. And, uh, and all it is is an adjustment layer. You don't have to put it in your uh, photo layer or your, your uh, cutout of uh, myself or, or a person on a green screen or whatever you don't have to put it in there I would do an adjustment layer and then put your effect into it that way if you need to go back you're gonna know okay the adjustment layers on top of the photo layer that way I know where to go back and adjust um, it makes things way more easier and it's just kind of a workflow thing it's kind of a industry standard as far as um, workflow and the comp effects and stuff like that now I turned everything into um, 3D layers. In order for this camera to pan, um, everything has to be in a 3D layer, except for my fire. I don't think I have my fire in a 3D layer, actually. Yes, I do. Sorry, those are 3D layers. My muzzle flashes and uh, bullets coming out of the gun, those are not 3D layers. But in order for the camera to follow this, it has to be 3D layer, so it follows. And as long as the camera's on top of your effects in your comp working comp here, um, it should follow it. So you don't have to keyframe anything. It's just your camera panning around the scene. And everything obviously is stretched out so it'll fit this, um, the aspect ratio of, you know, 1270 by, 1280 by 720, excuse me. So it'll fit your aspect ratio. Um, so it doesn't overlap and then cut off. But this is kind of neat. So I zoom in and I do that all. This is all done with a camera. <clears throat> and I'm just zooming in, setting keyframes. Zooming in. I'll probably put like a small little um, uh, title in here, like a box pop up uh, explaining, you know, who this person is and blah, 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 blah. Uh, then I'll go right back out to zoom out. And it does zoom out sooner or later. Stretch that out, and then the camera just pans back out or zooms back out. And it's all done with keyframing. It's fairly, fairly simple. And if you do it, just try and do a scene where you just have a, a picture or something. Uh, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, go to your camera settings, and to do that, you go into layer, new camera up here, or go into your comp. And then you can add a new camera and stuff like that in here too, if you can get to the right spot. Uh, maybe not. Sorry about that. Just go to new camera up here. That'll add a new camera. And then you just add your keyframes always at the beginning, middle, and end for camera movement. And then uh, just move your camera around. <clears throat> Basically what you can do is up here you have this... Uh, camera settings and this it'll show the camera on top here first so if you go up to your um, top left hand corner here you'll see the settings that you need for your camera so if you go on camera and go to orbit tool uh, shortcut would be your C key on your keyboard so you can toggle the different camera rolls and, and pan and up and down right left uh, zoom in zoom out that's what this one and then uh, your camera uh, 
basically your camera here but you can start taking this and then move it around and it'll just do it thanks so if you go too far you're gonna get that black part no big deal just bring it back in it's where you need it and uh, you should be good to go you can uh, tilt it and whatever however you want it to look but use you know use your best judgment use good composition and stuff like that um, you know you'll know once you see you'll know what you want <clears throat> you can do all kinds of stuff with it. you can zoom in zoom out and different stuff in the in the scene doesn't matter what it is you just use your own imagination to what you want to use it for and then let after effects do all the work for you but you are gonna have to key for frame you're gonna have to zoom in and zoom out um, I didn't use any plugins for this um, I just basically cut it, color graded it and then uh, call it good so that is just a quick tutorial on this little small little graphic and I will put up the video right after this uh, when I'm done with it I'll finish it out color grade it make sure there's some sound in there and stuff like that so you can kind of see the uh, a photo come to life basically so it's kind of neat these are fun projects to do and uh, you can use your imagination and uh, really kind of just get right into um, some of the things in After Effects and really learn a lot of stuff with that so um, Andrew Kramer has a tutorial on this so just go to him it's kind of like a volcano kind of a thing um, but you can go to his tutorial and check that out it's kind of the same concept but he does a very much nicer job than I do but um, because the guy is just the god of after effects but and i'm sure there's other people out there that do the same stuff so it's pretty cool um so hey subscribe uh, give, leave a comment at the end and uh i will talk to you guys later and have a good week